In regional news, ECOWAS has launched a new program aimed at boosting trade competitiveness across West Africa. The five-day training, which began today in Kololi, seeks to equip nations with tools to navigate the global marketplace more effectively. Our Sana tells us more. The West African Competitiveness Observatory is at the heart of this initiative. It's a platform designed to provide crucial data on trade flows and market opportunities. But as with any new tool, its effectiveness depends on those who use it. Babuka Usmela Juf, the Gambia's Trade Minister for Regional Integration and Employment, sees the training as a step forward but acknowledges the challenges ahead. Trade competitiveness is more than just a policy goal. It is a necessity. Our economies, whilst rich in resources and potential, face numerous challenges that must be addressed if we are to compete effectively in global markets. These challenges include infrastructural deficits, limited access to finance, inadequate market information, and the need for stronger institutions that can support trade and investment. One of the most, most pressing issues we face is the integration of our economies into regional and global value chains. The potential of regional value chains to drive economic growth and create jobs is immense. Yet the realization of this potential has for the longest been hindered by non-tariff barriers, limited trade logistics including transport and storage facilities, lack of harmonized standards, as well as poor quality. Minister Juve stressed that these barriers could hinder small and medium-sized enterprises in particular. However, he asserts that his ministry is working to create a more conducive environment for trade and investment. ECOWAS representative to the Gambia, Miata Lili French, outlined the organization's vision. Three of the ECOWAS Vision 2050 aims to deepen the process of economic integration through improving interconnectivity and regional competitiveness. This vision states a clear objective to strengthen the competitiveness of West Africa by enhancing the production, transformation, and expert capacities of the private sector. The objective is firmly supported by the regional SME strategies and initiatives. This includes, notably, the West Africa Common Industrial Policy, WASIP, and the Private Sector Development Strategy, which seek to develop productive and trade capacities as well as the regional value chains. Our specific goal is to improve the performance and growth of selected priority sectors and the value chain in goods along with related services. By so doing, we aim to stimulate their contribution to industry, regional trade, and global exports. The European Union, which is financing the program, sees it as part of a broader strategy. Enrica Pelecani, EU Head of Cooperation in the Gambia, explained. Well, the pillars uh, is uh, the support to connected infrastructure for smart, fair, and affordable mobility and trade. In this context, we have identified in Africa 12 uh, strategic corridors, and I would like just to mention the prior Dakar Abidjan uh, corridor. The notion of corridors is beyond the trade. In fact, it does include uh, infra trade infrastructures, but it also includes uh, soft measures on trade and transport facil facilitation, as well as road governance. In addition to the investment on infrastructure, we also believe the importance of supporting the development regional value chain and uh, um, uh, the agriculture sector, the agri-food sector is a major value chain, but there are other value chains in manufacturing or services that have been identified, uh, for example, the critical raw material, pharmaceuticals, but also leather, forestry, tourism, and cotton. But certainly there is a recognition that agri-food sector is particularly important to increase uh, Africa's resilience to global shocks in food supply chains, 
and increase the region's food. Over the next five years, participants will learn how to use data-driven insights to drive policy briefs and enhance regional value chains. It's a small step, but one that ECOWAS hopes will lead to more competitive and integrated economies across West Africa. For Star TV News, this is Awasane.